In this lesson, we will discuss the responsibilities of the Scrum Master. So here I have written that a Scrum Master is accountable for establishing a Scrum, means he is responsible for supporting the Scrum. They do this by helping everyone understand Scrum theory and practice, both within the Scrum team and the organization. So see, this question might come that they are responsible not only for the Scrum team, but also for the organization as well. The Scrum Master is accountable for the Scrum team's effectiveness. They do this by enabling the Scrum team to improve its practices within the Scrum framework. Scrum Masters are true leaders who serve the Scrum team and the larger organization. So how they are useful for the Scrum team, for the product owner and for the organization, now we will discuss. First of all, we will discuss the Scrum team, the Scrum Master serves the Scrum team in several ways including so you have to understand these points very carefully because the questions might come from these points as well they are responsible for coaching the team members in self-management and cross-functionality again what is the meaning of self-management means developers are responsible what to do when to do how to do a scrum master just coach or train them and cross functionality means the scrum team should know all the members should have different skills helping the scrum team focus on creating high value increments that meet the definition of done when they will work on the sprint at the end of the sprint should add some value and that value should be according to the definition of done means according to the specifications causing the removal of impediments to the scrum team's progress right if there are some problems so a scrum master is responsible to remove the problem ensuring that all scrum events take place and are positive productive and kept within the time box now what is the meaning of this time box and what are the events there are four formal events as i told you earlier as well the first one is the sprint planning then is the daily scrum third one is the sprint review and fourth one is the sprint retrospective these are compulsory formal events each event has a time box sprint planning has a maximum of eight hours if the sprint is for one month daily scrum is 15 minutes right whether it is for one month or two weeks or one week sprint daily scrum is 15 minutes sprint review four hours for a one month sprint similarly sprint retrospective time limit is three hours for a one month sprint if the sprint is for two weeks definitely these are less but this is 15 minutes ensuring that all scrum events take place means these are formal they should be there and are positive, productive, and kept within the time box. So Scrum Master is responsible for this. Now, how Scrum Master serves the product owner? Here I have written a few points. Helping find techniques for effective product goal definition and product backlog management. Helping the Scrum team understand the need for clear and concise product backlog items helping establish empirical product planning for a complex environment and facilitating stakeholder collaboration as requested or needed so they help the product owner in these ways the last one is scrum master serves the organization in several ways so leading training and coaching they lead the organization they train they coach the organization in its scrum adoption whether they are working according to scrum or not planning and advising scrum implementations within the organizations helping employees and stakeholders understand and enact an empirical approach for complex work and removing barriers between stakeholders and the scrum team so i hope the responsibilities of a scrum master product owner and developers are clear to you see you in the next lesson and thank you